preserving the quality of hides and skins, salting. After flaying, the fresh hides and skins should be chilled and preserved as soon as possible. The moisture and protein content of hides and skins, 65% and 30% respectively, are ideal for bacterial growth, bearing in mind that, at certain temperatures, many bacteria can replicate themselves in a few minutes. One bacteria might give rise to 4 million after just 8 hours, but this growth can be prevented by reducing the temperature, reducing the moisture content, or the addition of salt. Alone or combined, these are the bases of most preservation methods, and some are more appropriate in certain situations. For example, in Mongolia, with little history of drying, preservation by salting is popular in summer and autumn. But the sodium chloride removed from hides and skins during leather manufacture constitutes one of the more serious contaminants in tannery effluents. It has to be removed to avoid environmental damage. Preservation by drying is generally more acceptable and, increasingly, many tanneries try to accommodate receipt of fresh, unpreserved hides and skins by being located as close to the source of raw material as possible. In the meantime, in Mongolia, where 80% of hides and skins are produced in late autumn and in widely dispersed, unlicensed premises, salting will continue to be more convenient. Contrary to popular belief, the salt does not work because of its pH, biocidal effects, or drying, though some moisture is removed. Rather, the high solubility of the sodium chloride makes the water inside the hides or skins physiologically unavailable and unusable for growth by microorganisms. Ideally, the sodium chloride content of the salt should be about 95%. A higher concentration would be very good, but more expensive while a lower concentration would be less effective. In Mongolia and some other countries, smaller sized crystals of salt are preferred because they are thought to dissolve quicker and hence preserve faster. But in most cases, sodium chloride dissolves very quickly anyway, so the choice of crystal size is usually a matter of preference for ease of spreading. Ancillary chemicals are recommended for incorporation into salt, especially when it is to be reused. Boric acid and naphthalene, at 1% each on the weight of salt, are used to control halophilic bacteria and deter insects, respectively. Salting technique. Fresh hides and skins, cooled and fleshed, should be preserved as soon as possible. Materials that have already started to spoil should not be salted. Preservation cannot undo spoilage. The essence of preservation by salting is the application of salt, equal to about 40 to 50% of the weight of the hide or skin onto the flesh surface. This means, for example, about 8 to 10 kilograms of salt for a 20 kilogram hide. Skilled operators are able to estimate the amount of salt with precision and apply more on thicker areas. More hides or skins are placed flesh side up on the pile and the salting process is repeated layer by layer up to a maximum height of about 1.5 meters. Bigger stacks can lead to pressure-related defects in materials at the bottom. The diffusion of sodium chloride into hides and skins is usually complete within 12 to 24 hours and 6 to 12 hours respectively. During the course of preservation, some liquid will be exuded by the hides and skins. This is quite rapid in the first few days, but gradually slows and ceases completely after about 14 days, at which point the soldered hides and skins are about 80 to 85 percent of their original weight and the moisture content is about 45 percent. A very simple indicator of good wet salting preservation is the presence of undissolved salt on the surface. Undissolved salt means the moisture inside the hide or skin must be saturated and therefore unavailable for use by bacteria. Wet salted hides and skins may be stored for prolonged periods of time, at least six months in a cool, pest-free area.